Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. Here in the early part of the season, they've acquired the third-best record in the conference. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Well, Ben Simmons was the top-rated player in high school and in college. But a fractured bone in his foot cost him his first NBA season. He said, a lot of people forgot about me. You have to build yourself up again. And for me, I wanted to prove myself again. Kevin, we all agree he's done just that. He sure has. First NBA All-Star ever out of Australia. Thanks, David. Clark up front. That's where the game will likely be won or lost in this one. Great, great talent, no doubt, on the front lines here. But if for some reason they cancel each other out, then you know where it's going to be decided. In the backcourt with guys about your size, Kevin. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Look at the 76ers starting group. Simmons and Smith are your one and your two. The talented combo up front, Horford and MB. And it's Richardson in at the small forward spot. Shorty out there at B train. Then it's D. Then it's Big Smooth. And so here we go, the 76ers to start it. Who's got Simmons? Passes it to Simmons. Pass to Horford. Lock at six. It's stolen. Here's Shorty. Richardson cover. And the pass to D. The shot. Jump shot is good. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Smith scanning the floor. Pass to Horford. Shot clock at six. Here's Simmons. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And this summer, a five-year, $170 million max contract extension for Ben Simmons. The Sixers didn't want to give him any cause to look elsewhere. A great talent, but the hope with that kind of money is that he'll develop that jump shot. You know, you look at Ben Simmons, and the thing that jumps out to me is his all-around game. I mean, it's absolutely terrific. He's a stat sheet stuffer, supreme. Here's Shorty. This is it to be trained. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball movement. Smith outside. From past the arc. Good on the triple. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. The pass to D. He sinks the 11-footer. Simmons with it. A 20-point game for him in the win against Minnesota. And there really was a physical aspect of his performance that was off the charts. He was taking it right at him, and he just kept getting those calls and getting to the line. Gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Here's Shorty. Pass to deep from downtown. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And this is how you want to start the ball game. Four for four from the field. Seems like they're right on point and can't miss. Pass to Simmons. Down low, here's Embiid, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. You know, it's the muscle and size of Embiid that allow him to score through contact. Uh, you know, guys, it's crazy to think that Joel Embiid once considered quitting the game. I mean, his first practice at Kansas, a senior dunked on him so hard he went to the coach and said, maybe I should get out of this stuff. <laughs> Luckily, the coach talked him down, and now we see one of the best in the league. Pass to Shorty. Shorty. 
high post shot. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Seven points for D. And some real adversity for Joel Embiid after leaving Kansas. Foot injuries costing him the first two years, Clark, of his career. And then, back in Cameroon, the tragic passing of his beloved brother. Yeah, that's a hard road to hoe, and adversity oftentimes, while painful, can steal us for the promised land or positive outcomes. And, you know, Embiid really driven by his goal to inspire others in Africa to make a better life, and that drove him to be where he is now. Great start for him. 4-4. Four, four. He could be in for a big game. Certainly looks that way to me, partner. I mean, his energy level is ramped up. I think he's been terrific right from the opening tip. Now here's MB. 14 points from him the last game against Minnesota. And he also controlled the backcourt as well. I mean, he really did a terrific job. Here's Shorty. They lead by four. Shoots. Tries again, and that's two points on the way. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And Clark, when you think back to your playing days in high school, what memories come to mind? Well, just the fun of being able to have success all four years I was at St. Joseph High School in Cleveland, the way the city rallied around us uh, my senior year when we had a chance to play for a state championship, unfortunately came up short. The teammates and coaches and teachers that I had a chance to enjoy those four years with all of uh, really fond special memories for me. Six to shoot. Right side Simmons. And, and trailing here in the first, you'd like to see them be a little more aggressive on the offensive line. Yeah, I agree. Not a lot of activity chasing down their misses. Some teams focus on getting back. And I understand that. But you should send at least one guy after them. Now here's Simmons. 107 left in the first quarter. And good that time. Outstanding focus that time by Simmons. Nothing really rattles this guy. He's unflappable, even when he's getting bodied by the defense like that. Here's Big Smooth. He had 10 points in the win against Oklahoma City. And he was also a big factor for them defensively. I think he tallied four blocks in the game. And he's got his first free throw of the game. The first one falls. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Floats one up, and he sinks the layup. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Here's Thompson. Good on the baseline, Jay. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Greg, you're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Now here's Simmons. Six-second difference between shot and game clock. There's the pass to Scott. Kicks to Harris. Pass to Simmons. Shoots. And the 76ers tack on two more. And for a 6'10 player like Simmons to be handling the ball like that? Come on. That's criminal. Here's Thompson. Oh, and the buzzer Peters good. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Nothing like knocking down that last possession of a quarter to give you a little feel-good moment. And so it's the home team. Holding on to an eight-point lead, heading into the break. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Now, what put me over the, the edge to make this switch? Playing for a historic franchise, Greg, they've got, of course, the great 
fan support, great history, something Horford relishes. A, a great choice. A team with depth and youth. They have a chance to be good for a long time. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? I impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Big Daddy is out there with Slim. And it's Thompson. And there's Baller. And it's Chan. And it's shooting guard. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, Josh Richardson has made himself into one of the top defensive wings in the league. Richardson says there's a certain competitiveness that comes with being a good defender. The defensive end takes will, and I have a lot of it. Kevin J. Rich is self-described as super competitive, and that edge is what drives it. It sure is. That's what it takes. Thank you, David. That's a nice play, getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. Harris, no good. Gone three of four from the four here in the second quarter. And there's been some turnover in the Philly front office, but through it all, some bold moves. Yeah, I'd agree with that, guys. First, the process, and we heard a lot about that as they were stockpiling draft picks and losing a lot of games. It was maybe the most drastic rebuild in NBA history, at least as I can recall. Then new leadership in Elton Brand, who's done an outstanding job, pushing all their chips into the middle to go for it. Great credit to him for not sitting back. In both cases, a plan and a direction, and that's what you want from your organization. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Embiid, he's checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. Horford comes in for Harris. Smith checked in for Burke. And Josh Richardson subbed in for Simmons. Fires from 18. That's good on the jump shot. B Train's got his second basket. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Horford with the rebound. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Money's checked in for Big Daddy. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Ennis. No good on the triple. Gone five of seven from the field here in the second. Here's B train. And he goes big with the dunk right over Al Horford. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead. And here we go, baby. It is showtime. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. Now, here's Richardson. He's guarded closely. Six on the shot clock. Here's Smith. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Smith's got his second bucket of the night. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Clark, a big jump in scoring, but I think a lot of that is because of the prolific role players we have in the NBA now. Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. When you think about starters putting up points and then you have guys that fortify benches and can get points in bunches, the first name that comes to mind for me, Lou Williams. Mm -hmm. A designated role of scoring the basketball in limited minutes. And when he gets it going, watch out. Nobody quite like Lou Williams putting it in the basket as a role play. A remarkable interior presence. Horford's a veteran who still has those polished post moves. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end.
Richardson outside. Smith outside. Got a piece of it. Here we go. All alone. Here's B-Train. Throws down the breakaway jam. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. With the teardrop. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Richardson. Embiid's got four points this quarter. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. No one near him. And that's good for two. Just playing with poise and confidence. And they continue to put points on the board. Well, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possessions. And here's Smith. He has five. Just five on the clock. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before second violation. On Monday, they'll be playing against Draymond Green and the Golden State Warriors. And then on Thursday, they'll be playing against Lou Williams and the Los Angeles Clippers. There's 47 seconds left in the first half. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the first one drops. Both teams deciding to change it up. Good on both. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoops. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Pass to Burke. We've got 28 seconds left here in the second. A nice shot by Harris. Boy, that's a nice touch from Harris right there, showing you exactly how under control he is close to the basket. Baller guarded by Harris. Slaughter passes to Shorty. And stolen by Simmons. Here's Burke. Got a hand on it. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Six seconds left now here in the second. Passes it to Harris. What a play. He simply drains it in at the buzzer. Resourceful move there. Ending the period on a... Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back to the second half of basketball right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal. And taking a look at this home squad, Kenny, some perspective, please. Well, they built... And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. We're seeing tremendous gameplay from D. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look that he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. Kicking off. Off the second half, here's Brett Brown's five. The talented combo up front, Horford and MB. Simmons and Smith are your one and your two. And it's Richardson, and at the three, the small forward. I think this is what we all want to see from Simmons, more of him expanding his game and working in the jump shot. 
Well, if you look at Ben Simmons, is he the best Australian-born player ever? Well, you got to remember now, Kevin, and you would know this from your research, Kyrie Irving was actually born in Australia, lived there for a couple of years, and still has dual citizenship. So I'll leave that one to the fans to debate. Irving or Simmons as the best from Australia? Smith on the wing. Five points in the game. Shots good by Simmons. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. And there's the pass to Beecham. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. That makes three in a row to start the second half. Simmons looking around. And it's Shorty with the foul. That's foul number two for him. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Some defense, Clark, being played now by a lot of teams. It's amazing that even with that, the point totals just continue to rise. And you know what? I attribute the point totals continuing to rise to a couple of things. One, the volume of three-point shots that are being taken. And I think teams are playing at a little faster pace universally. You don't see as much walking the ball up the floor as I think you may have seen in years past. Right side, Simmons. Lock at six. Horford trying to free himself up. And it's blocked. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. Pass to Beatrain. Here's T. Drills the three-pointer. D's got 13 points. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Timeout called the 76ers. You know, after the Sixers were knocked out in the second round for the second straight year, there was some speculation, and I think unmerited, whether Brett Brown might be let go as head coach. The players voiced their support and made the decision easier to bring him back, and I think it was the right one. He's done a fantastic job as the leader of the Sixers. Richardson right side, and that one is good. Richardson's got his third basket of the night. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. And Coach Brown Clark captain the ship through some real rough times in the beginning. And you know, Kevin, I think for that reason and the job he's done here recently, he's earned the right to see this thing through. It's a result-oriented profession. I know that, and I understand it. Uh, but this is a team built to contend. And that's the expectation, and I'd like to see uh, Brett Brown have a chance to bring it to full fruition. Here's B-Train. Connects from three-point range. 13 points in the game. And, and when you get this kind of shooting from him, 100% from the field, they're going to be tough to beat. Smith outside. Master Richardson. A three. That one doesn't go. Gone off with a three-pointer tonight. They're a perfect seven of seven. Count it good. 15 points for B-Train. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Simmons passes to Horford. And a dunk by Horford. Well, Simmons has what I call see-ahead vision. I mean, he sees a play ahead, and he's a great passer. Thompson against Simmons. Passes to Beatrain. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Smith finds Richardson. Philadelphia moving the ball around. And the dunk by Smith. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. 
Thompson outside. Fires for three. Big Daddy. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Big Daddy's got five now. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Yeah, and Greg, you know the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot, not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out-shoot out this team. Here's Simmons, and the 76ers tack on two more. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you think his team would have the lead. Thompson surveying the floor. feet out and foul on the shot so he'll get a chance at the line over no, here no. you can see Two. that one pretty clearly no question about it greg i mean a ton of contact and a good call by the officials that free throw good from thompson so both teams changing it up here and so he hits both there's 39 seconds left to play in the third outside simmons He kicks to Harris. Back to Simmons. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. Yeah, and you know, for Simmons to be so young, he has a great basketball IQ, and he plays to his strengths on offense and plays to him well. The pass to Aguilar. Thompson inside the lock, and he beats the buzzer. Wow! Yeah, that's just an amazing play to get that ball off in time. I agree. And so it's the home team in very good shape with a 23-point lead at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been... You're going to take everything you got to come up with balls. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. We've got Shorty. Waller is out there with Slim, and it's Chan in at the two. Here's Simmons. Lays it up off the glass. Simmons got 19 points. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. Yeah, exactly. It sure is. Plenty of second opportunities. Eight of their last ten points from the paint but the defense still continues to back away and not show any aggression. And Simmons with the rebound. And so Simmons will bring it up for Philadelphia. Next up, they'll face the Suns. That'll be in Phoenix. That'll be game two of four straight on the road. Here's O'Quinn. That doesn't fall. Can't drop his first shot. Banked in off the glass. Big miscommunication on defense he recognizes it and quickly takes advantage boy the defense looks shell-shocked i mean they're on the ropes right now on their heels there's the dish to scott if a floater here is slim here's shorty and the basket is good and he's got a chance here for one more at the line and giving up some inches inside, but makes it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is. That's a tough shot. Zaire Smith, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Mark, the max contract didn't exist when you were playing. Is it something that should be up for debate? Well, it's a function of the economics of the league now. And in theory, there's some reasons why you have max contracts because a guy has earned that opportunity a way to keep a star player or a max contract player with the same team i think is part of the reasoning behind it i mean debating it and talking about it is, is, is probably something that makes some sense if you're thinking about getting rid of it i'm not so sure in perimeter scoring i have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime certainly i mean they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. 
And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. Simmons dishes to O'Quinn. Scott kicks to Simmons. From outside the arc, they get it back. It's good on the putback. Way to work the glass, buffet style. Second chance buckets. They can make a big difference. Here's Shorty. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. B. And the three ball is good. B's got six here in this quarter. Yeah, and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Now, here's O'Quinn. Pass to Simmons. The hook. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Simmons got 21 in the game. When he's sprinting down the court like that to the basket, Simmons is virtually impossible to stop. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. B, covered by Smith. And, oh, here we go. Smith's got it. The fast break chance. And the 76ers tack on two more. Good job getting the ball and completing that play. Boy, there's not much defense available once a steal is made. That's the best time to attack on the break. Here's Shorty. And it's blocked by Simmons. Well, you got to respect the athleticism and the willingness to defend that Simmons has. I mean, he's a skilled shot blocker, too. Passes it to B. Throws it up high. A flawless finish on the alley -oop. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with a circus move. Mm, so smooth. He could have messed that up trying for a big slam. Nice work going to the layup. Stolen away. One twenty-one left in the fourth quarter. Now the 76ers on the break. Simmons is running. A baseline J. Drain for two points. Simmons got 16 points here in the second half. And Simmons is accustomed to finishing over all types of defenders. I mean, that jump shot is just pure money. Harris on the double team. The pass to money. It's taken away by Smith. Now the 76ers on the break. And it's blocked. Inside. Powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Six to shoot. Here's Simmons, and there's the feed to O'Quinn. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And it's in there. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. So it's Philadelphia now. And Simmons kicks to Smith. From deep three-point range, misses there. And so the home crowd treated to a win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect